Once upon a time, there was a young couple named John and Marcia, who were deeply in love. They knew that their relationship was something special, and they wanted to make sure that it would last a lifetime. So they turned to God for guidance. God appeared to them in a dream and showed them an isosceles triangle, with himself at the top and John and Marcian on either side. This is your relationship, God said. The closer you are to me, the closer you will be to each other. The farther you are from me, the farther you will be from each other. God warned John and Marcia that if they tried to be closer to each other while neglecting their relationship with him, their relationship would eventually fail. They might be able to maintain the illusion of closeness for a while, but without a strong foundation in their faith, their bond would become weak and unstable. Like an isosceles triangle with only a small angle at the top, their relationship would lack the balance and stability it needed to survive. It was only by keeping God at the center of their lives that they could hope to build a lasting and fulfilling relationship with each other. At first, John and Marcia didn't quite understand what God meant. But over time, they began to see the truth in his words. Whenever they prayed together, went to church, or did good deeds for others, they felt closer to each other than ever before. It was like the two sides of the triangle were coming together. But when they started to drift away from God, their relationship suffered. They found themselves arguing more, misunderstanding each other, and feeling distant. It was like the sides of the triangle were pulling apart, creating a wider and wider gap between them. One day, John realized that he had been neglecting his spiritual life. He started attending church again, praying daily, and reading the Bible. As he drew closer to God, he also felt himself drawing closer to Marcia. He tried to encourage Marcia to do the same, but she was resistant. She didn't see the point of going to church or praying, and she didn't understand why John was suddenly so interested in his faith. John tried to explain to her that their relationship was stronger when they were both close to God, but Marcia was skeptical. As time went on, John found that his renewed faith gave him strength and wisdom that he hadn't had before. He was able to handle challenges in their relationship with grace and compassion, and he found that he had a deeper sense of purpose in his life. But Marcia remained distant, and their relationship suffered. They began to argue more often, and they found it harder and harder to connect. Despite his best efforts, John couldn't convince Marcia to come back to God with him. He realized that, without her own commitment to their faith, their relationship would never be as fruitful as it once was. He still loved Marcia deeply, but he knew that he needed to put his relationship with God first. With a heavy heart, he decided to let Marcia go and trust that God would guide them both to the path they were meant to follow. Meanwhile, Marcia feels God's conviction with deep sorrow and emptiness in her heart. So she went to her prayer closet, kneeled down in prayer, and asked for God's forgiveness. She then went to see John. Before he could even say a word about his plan to let go of her, Marcia asked for his forgiveness. She told John that she had decided to rejoin him on his spiritual journey. Together, they became a strong and loving couple, with God at the center of their relationship. John and Marcia faced many challenges in the years to come, but they remained committed to keeping God at the center of their relationship. Together, they prayed, went to church, and did good works for others, always striving to draw closer to God and to each other. As they grew older, they realized that their love had deepened and matured in ways they could never have imagined. They had weathered storms and come out stronger on the other side, and they knew that their commitment to each other and to God was what had carried them through. In the end, they lived a long and happy life together, surrounded by family and friends who loved and respected them. They knew that their isosceles triangle of love had been the foundation of their marriage, and they were grateful for the wisdom and guidance that God had given them along the way. As they closed their eyes for the last time, 
they felt a sense of peace and contentment, knowing that they had lived a life of purpose and love. They knew that their legacy would live on, not just in the memories of those who knew them but in the love and faith that they had shared with each other and with the world. And so they truly did live happily ever after, in a perfectly balanced isosceles triangle of love that had lasted a lifetime.